So let me start things off by saying the Canon R8 is a really good camera. That is my main camera. I use it for everything now and it is awesome. That being said, there are some things that might be a deal breaker for you and there are some things that I really, really wish were not the way they are on this camera. And I wanted to go through those with you guys because if you're thinking about buying this camera, these might make you not want to buy the camera. But I do have ways of fixing most of these issues, so stick around after I complain about it to figure out how to deal with it if you still want the camera. Starting with one being the battery life. It is very not the best. Um, it does come with a smaller battery than most cameras, the R5 or R6 or R6 Mark II or R3 or whatever considerably smaller batteries so it's not gonna last very long compared to those cameras it's not like it dies in 30 minutes I think if you're filming in 1080p it's around you know an hour or two depending on all the settings what if you're filming in slow-mo or not it does vary depending on what you're doing it's not terrible um, I have heard some people have had terrible battery life with it but I don't, you, I mean, we don't know what they're usually filming with. They could be filming 120 frames per second the entire time, or like 4K 60 for a while, and then that'll, that'll drain the battery quicker. Um, there are workarounds that will make it last longer and stick to the end, and we'll talk about those. The second thing I want to complain about is autofocus. It is not the worst autofocus. It's actually pretty good autofocus, but there's too many times where I'll set the camera up on a tripod and I'll be filming for my other channel or this channel. My other channel is a skate channel, um, Isaiah Cole, if you want to go watch skateboarding. But anyway, I'll set the camera up and I'll go and do a trick on my skateboard and then it will just completely drop me sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Enough to where I'm scared that I'm not going to get the clip if I land the trick. And that is very very much not fun to deal with. Uh, it's still very good, it's just I feel like I have to babysit the autofocus a lot and it's not, I don't like having to do that. There are some settings you can change to make it a little bit better, but it's still, you know, not my favorite. There's no joystick on there. So when you're looking through the viewfinder to try and, you know, take pictures and stuff, and then you need to switch the focus onto something else, then you, there's not really a way to do that. So you have to take the camera off of your face and then select the thing you want to focus on or have it focus on the middle thing and you just, you know, put whatever you want to focus on in the middle. But there's a setting where you go to the fourth page of the autofocus page uh, section or whatever, autofocus section. So on that page, there's the, um, at the top of it, I believe there's a touch, touch screen focus or something along the lines of that. You want to enable that. And then once you do that, when you're looking down the viewfinder, you can still touch the screen and move where you want stuff to be focused on. That is very useful because there's no joystick on it. So it's kind of like your own version of the joystick. So that fixed that for me and it made it a lot easier to take pictures. There are some other things about it that are just sort of meh. I just don't really care for the way they did it, you know? Um, starting with the, they don't have, there's no spin dial on it, um, so it's not that big of a deal. It just, you know, saves me a couple seconds whenever I'm looking through my uh, clips on my camera. So it's really not that big of a deal. It's just I would like that it, I would like it to have it, but it will. But other than those things, this camera is literally perfect. It's the best camera I would recommend anyone getting, especially if they are on a budget because it does all of the things, like the R6 Mark II, it's pretty much the same camera. It's just cheaper. You know, obviously you have to deal with some things, but there's not too big of a difference between this and the R6. You can still get just as professional quality stuff, it's just, there are some things that are kind of annoying. With how to fix the battery life thing, what I, so my camera started, was dying pretty quickly, and I saw somewhere that you put it in airplane mode, and it makes it last longer. And I did that, and it lasts longer. I don't know, I guess it uses, it does stuff in the background. Try doing that and see if that helps with fixing the battery life. And also getting a battery pack handle, a grip, you can stick in there, you can put two batteries in there and then it'll last twice as long. And those are the only two things that I have really looked into that would help that much with battery life. And the fixing the autofocus is you want to make sure you put in the autofocus what you want it to focus on. Because there's a setting, you go in and you click the autofocus what you want it to focus on. There's uh, people, cars, animals. A um, bunch of other stuff and make sure whatever it is you're filming or taking pictures of you want to select that thing and then whenever I did that it worked a little bit better for autofocus and I didn't have to baby it as much still kind of a little bit it would do it sometimes but 
very, very few times after that. And that is pretty much it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Click on this one over by the, the red light to watch the next video. And it's a pretty good one, so I recommend actually clicking on it. So I'll see you later.